Hello, I'm Orphelos. Welcome back to episode 8 of this playthrough on All the Mods Free Remix. I want to jump straight into upgrading to or tripling with Mechanism, but first just a couple of quick upgrades I've made. Uh, I turned RNG Cube into an advanced energy cube because the recipe wasn't very difficult and it's just given us a much better buff at 3.2 million RF instead of I think it was 800,000 RF we had before and I grabbed a um, fluid tank filled up with lava just so I can refill the smeltery a bit easier. I took that to the to the mining dimension, nice and easy. Oh, and I made a second metallurgic infuser to make steel with, because uh, you just put it through this twice, put some charcoal in it, which has been enriched up in the enrichment chamber. Easy peasy. But the first thing I need to do to make our tier three machines will be to make a water pump. Basically, we're gonna need to make oxygen and to do that, we're going to electrolyze water. But first, so when I electrolyze water, first thing we'll need is to pump up some water. So we need some osmium, a steel casing, enriched alloy, and a bucket. So enriched alloy was iron, of course. So we need steel, iron, osmium. Probably going to need some redstone. We always need redstone. And I think that was everything off of that list. I'm sure I remember something I missed in a minute. Uh, we're going to need a few of these. So I'll start with 12 while I get the other things made. And of course, we're going to need some glass. Right, the electric pump recipe. Let's start with the steel casing and a bucket. And then we just need to go grab our enriched alloy. There we go, one electric pump. So I'm also going to need to make an infinite water source. So I'll just go outside, grab a bit of water. And I'm actually going to make this set up slightly in front of the old one for a couple of different reasons that I'll go into in a minute. But this way round is how I want it. Right. So this pump, once I've connected it up to power, should just pump up as much water as we need and output it into a any basic mechanical pipe that's connected to the top of it. Uh, so yes, you're right, we need to make some basic mechanical pipes as well. Nice easy recipe, just some a bucket and some steel. And there we go, pipe immediately fills with water. Uh, I'm not going to connect the next one up just yet because we've got nothing to pump that water into. So as I said a minute ago, we're gonna electrolyze that water into hydrogen and oxygen. We've not got a use for the hydrogen just yet, uh, but we definitely have a use for the oxygen. So we're going to need an electrolytic separator, which is this recipe. The first thing we need is an electrolytic core, but for that we need osmium dust, pulverized gold and pulverized iron. When we make that, there's, well, there's several different ways of making that. Use uh, crushers, crushers, grindstones, enrichment chambers. Oh, what was that? Enrichment chamber. We can turn off the thing that automatically puts the ore over into the, into the furnace and we'll grab the dust out of the enrichment chamber. Or if we didn't have any ore, we could build ourselves a crusher to turn the ingots back into dust. We are going to need to build a crusher, so that would be an entirely viable option, but we have osmium and gold and iron ore anyway, so we may as well just use the ores. So I'm just gonna turn off this output side and I can put in a bit of osmium and then I'll do the gold and the iron. Okay, and with those done, run back over here, go back to my electrolytic separator recipe, electrolytic core, and oh yes, just missing my enriched alloy, which should have finished, should have finished infusing by now. So let's just get that made. And hopefully we have, yeah, we have everything else to make the electrolytic separator. And I'm gonna put that down just over here. And we can pipe that and we can, yeah, and we can connect that up with our mechanical pipes, which are the ones that carry fluids, just like so. And we'll see the tank's quickly filled up with 
water. So let's also give it some power. And this is in danger of getting a little messy. What I'm going to do is actually run this power underneath. And there we go. It is now making oxygen and hydrogen. Exactly as we exactly as we want it. And I'm going to need to make some smooth stone. Ah, I already have some. Good. Oh yes, the other thing I did between episodes, hence why I have some smooth stone left over, I kind of neated up, neatened up the um, walls and ceiling. <laughs> you may have noticed it's all the um, all the granite and andesite and bits of ores were annoying me. So, what are we going to do with this with this oxygen and hydrogen? Ah yes, and there we get to, well, I'll come to that in a minute. What are we going to do with all this oxygen and hydrogen? Well, the oxygen goes into our next piece of ore processing machinery, which is called a purification chamber. And that isn't too hard to make. Um, it's just, it's basically an upgrade of the enrichment chamber. And that just needs a couple of circuits, some redstone, some iron, and of course, the ubiquitous steel casing. Uh, I am going to need some more enriched alloy. So I'm just going to put that on to infuse first. And I'm going to need four circuits. So I will put some osmium on to infuse once that iron is done as well. And that's all our infusing done. So, so let's get this purification chamber made. So first thing I need is another enrichment chamber, um, doo -doo -doo. which I can just make like that. And in the purification chamber, I need a couple of advanced control circuits. They are very easy to make. And then we can just make the purification chamber. Nice. And that I'm hoping I can just put like so. Because that is using oxygen. And by putting it like this, it already had the back set as an input. So I'm able to just put the um, oxygen straight from the electrolytic separator into the purification chamber. And it also needs power. So I can just run the cable along under the floor like so. And there we go. This is this is ready to start processing ore. And let's so let's just have a look at what it's going to output. Um, let's start with some iron. So I put a bit of iron ore in there. You see, it's using using our oxygen, but it's being replaced straight away by the oxygen that we've got stored already. And that, so that bit of iron gave us three iron clumps. What's an iron clump? Let's have a look, quick look in JI at what, it, what it's used for. So we can use it in a, in a macerator from Industrial Craft to make dirty iron dust, or we can use it in a crusher from Mechanism to make dirty iron dust. So basically, we're saying we need another new machine, the crusher. The dirty iron dust, we can use the enrichment chamber to make pulverized iron, and then we can use that to find it eventually. Well, anyway, somewhere in here is our, um, we use that in our energized smelter to turn it into the ingot. So we've got to make 
one more mechanism machine, which is the crusher. But that shouldn't be difficult to make. Oh, there we go, crusher. So I need a couple of buckets of lava, two more circuits, four bits of redstone, and of course a steel casing. Well, let's get that. Let's get that steel casing made for a start. And let's find two buckets of lava. I think I used one of my buckets to craft those um, mechanical pipes. So I'll just make another one. And I've got my tank of lava that I got for refilling the smeltery out here. And what else did I need? Oh yes, and I need two more circuits. So that is just two bits of osmium in the metallurgy confuser. Excellent, those are done. Let's run back over to our crafting station and we should be ready to craft. There we go, and we get our buckets back, bonus. So from here, we wanna go into the crusher Um, probably should have made this hole first. There we go, universal cable. And I'm actually going to extend it a little bit further because from our crusher, of course, that dirty iron dust goes into the enrichment chamber, go, then goes into the energized smelter. So I'm gonna pick up the enrichment chamber and the energized smelter, and in fact, our iron chest and put them down like so. And there we have it. That should be our all tripling setup complete. I now just need to set up the side configs. And it's it's actually pretty much, should all pretty much be set up for us. Um, I just need to set this to auto eject. And set this one to input on the correct side. Now you see it's crushing the iron clumps, turning them into dirty iron dust. So I set this one to auto eject. And this one to input on the side as well. And then these two should already be set up properly because they keep their keep their configurations. And there we have it, fully automated or tripling. Except for one problem that we'll see pretty soon. Because why has our electrolytic separator stopped producing oxygen? See, this oxygen has very nearly run out. And when it does, our purification chamber is quite quickly going to stop working. There we go, it's completely stopped. And the crusher will keep going for a little bit, but you know, not very long. Um, basically, the reason the electrolytic separator has stopped is because it's full of hydrogen. And there's two things we can do here. One would be if I press this button, it would dump out any excess hydrogen and just keep working. Um, and we are we are actually going to do that, but not straight away. First, I want to make a tank to store some hydrogen and then dump out any excess we get beyond that. That's as a that's the stopgap. After that, we're going to use find a better use for it. But for now, we're gonna make a tank to store some of it and then dump out the rest. I do have a use in mind for it as well. Um, So basic gas tank, very easy to make. And in fact, 
we can probably manage to improve it to an advanced gas tank. Elite is, a, is pushing it a little bit. Um, if you noticed how easy that was to create the advanced gas tank, that's the same reason I upgraded the energy cube to an advanced energy cube. Okay, you see that has now got some, that's now got hydrogen in it, and this is now working again. And our purification chamber now has oxygen in it and is also working again. So now that the electrolytic separator has somewhere to dump its hydrogen to, everything is working. Once that tank does fill up, it's going to take a while because it's a pretty big tank. Once that does fill up, then I'll turn this back on to dump excess or turn this on to dump excess. I mean, I can't now because it's only going to dump the excess. It's still putting just as much hydrogen into there. So it's only once that fills up, it'll start dumping it. But then, yeah, this will work just fine. And that'll process. Oh. Oh yeah, of course, because I turned that off so that we could get the, um, so that we could grab the dust out of it, didn't I? Now everything is working properly and we're getting iron out of this end. And we're getting three times as much iron out as we're putting in iron ore, which is better the, than you can get from the smeltery. And that will be it for today's episode. So hope to see you back next time. Goodbye.